Wow. It took me 42 years to get to this point, and my skills are not yet complete. You are a Jedi. One of my patrons, Joe Tashi, asked what Darth Vader eats. And I didn't have an answer to that question. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. Where did I leave my encyclopedias? I got these two figures yesterday. Cad Bane is one of many of the Clone Wars characters that I need to collect. Embo is the next one on my list, and this Darth Vader came with the special Jar Jar Binks and Carbonite figure, which I've yet to get. I really want it. What? That is Darth Vader. Here is a 3D reconstruction log of Darth Vader. Let's see if we can find out what he eats. There's information about his helmet. Built with Sith alchemy. He has heat radiators, angled protection, optical filters, supplementary air pump, electrodes, shoulder armor, hermetic collar, feeding straws. There we go. Through the use of these straws, the patient is able to... Uh, through the use of these straws, the patient is able to feed himself from an implanted bladder filled with a nutrient paste. The bladder will be refilled during monthly maintenance sessions or on demand. Hmm. I figured as much. He doesn't strike me as a meat and potatoes kind of guy. Yes, this one's in 3D too. We only had one egg left, so Diana put it in a salad and added some blue cheese. This is perfect. I want to drink your shirt. You do? Yeah. I'm weird. Although, I would probably add a little more cream and, oh, and a little more sugar. <laughs> that is very, very expensive. <laughs> yes, it is. Let's go ahead and move to the middle of the hallway. position her feet. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> you gotta take a step. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Walk towards the walker. Hang on, she's got to get a selfie with it. <laughs> Unless mommy thwarts the attempt. What are you talking about? Whoop phone. <laughs> I have a feeling that your first computer is going to be a smartphone. It'll be your first PC. My new phone case came in. I've been waiting for it for quite some time, or at least waiting to use something like it. I'm actually excited about a phone case. That's usually not the case. Most cases are boring or extremely similar. They don't really get me excited, usually. And no, Darth Vader is not on the case, but I can change that. No, it doesn't involve Velcro. Although that would be kind of an interesting case. Let me guess, you're going to use a marker of sorts, eh? The case is closed, even though it's in a box that has a case inside that has to be opened. I also got mystery packages. One from Entertainment Earth, and another one from Microsoft. I've got a car full of awesome today. I'll show you when I get home, including a BOGO on pork chops. I saved 15 bucks! Ha! Huh, that's going to feed us for like a week! I also picked up a pack of Twinkies at half off. They're pumpkin spice flavored. Because of Daddy's keen eye, we saved 38% on today's grocery haul, which includes shredded lettuce with free Oreo Thins and Daddy's Root Beer. Are you ready for your new blanket? Yeah. Okay, it's right here. Underneath the stuffed Darth Vader. <laughs> You'd rather have me than Darth Vader? Yeah. I love you too. <laughs> we try to expose Jedi to a variety of colors. Blue, green, Red, 
yellow, pretty much every color of the rainbow, except for periwinkle. That's not on here. It looks like the other blankets that she has, but there are actually subtle differences between them all. Very, very subtle. I'll show you in a bit. All right, I got a digital clock for my car. <laughs> that and whatever's inside this box, which was within the other box. Pop goes the iPhone case. It's an e-ink display. In playing around with this for a few minutes, I gotta tell you, it's a nice experience, but not one that's ready for prime time. Don't spend your money on it. It's fun, but it could stand a massive amount of improvements. The app is junky, and this case was designed for a previous generation iPhone, though they said it would work with this iPhone. I really wanted this to be more awesome than it actually is. Are you slap chopping over there? <laughs> I'm poking the port. I'm more bothered by the app than I am the design of the case, which I'm not that impressed with. I started with the battery life of the case at 96% and it's already down to 22%. Yeah, I gotta return it. Maybe an action figure will cheer me up. <laughs> I can't open anything else right now because Jedi's taking a nap. Speaking of poor software, I am standing. I've been standing for five minutes. This cheapy digital clock for my car should be perfect. We've been rotating Jedi's blankets. This is the one that we're currently using inside her crib here in the master bedroom. Then there's this one in her bedroom at the moment. You've seen this one at the bottom of her crib downstairs in the kitchen. And now Jedi will have this one to her from Mommy and Daddy. This is just about the only movie disc player that we still have in the house. But at least it's upstairs, away from Jedi, and hopefully I'll keep it low enough so I'll still be able to hear it, but not loud enough that I'll wake her up. Dang, that was a loud movie. I finally got around to posting to Medium.com, and I'm getting a fair amount of attention for the article. Let's go ahead and see what they sent. A bunch of paper. Ooh, and the exclusive! It's the assault walker with a first order stormtrooper officer. See, he's got a pauldron. Now, I don't know if this particular vehicle is going to be showing up in The Force Awakens, because it doesn't say The Force Awakens here 
on the box at the top where it says Star Wars. If you can see that, if you can't, maybe I have to angle it differently. But I got it today and am very happy to unbox it. If anybody has any questions during this unboxing, feel free to ask as I am streaming it live onto the interwebs. We've got a logo with Arabesh, if anybody cares to translate that. If you always wanted to call in the cavalry with the stormtrooper leading the charge, this is the way to do it. This could be a father-daughter bonding experience. I need mommy's nails. Oh, you do? Does mommy have nails? A little bit. I really like the box art. Yeah. <laughs> Can I continue? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Wouldn't that make a great bookmark, just this side panel? That's a great idea. Mm-hmm. Love it. I really want to keep this box intact. You know what? I don't think it's going to happen. This would have been a set that I'd be inclined to collect anyway, if only because this First Order Stormtrooper officer uh, is, well, an action figure. This is a late night Friday toy showcase, first look, Star Wars, fun, happy time, live experience with Chris Perillo. And I really appreciate the fact that Hasbro is now including action figures with its vehicles, specifically with Star Wars. That's something I'd always wanted. And quite honestly, this exclusive would not thrill me if it was just the vehicle outright. Boy, he really stands out there, doesn't he? Or she. Thanks again for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, of course participating with us wherever we happen to be, anytime, anywhere. We really do appreciate you, especially if you support us in every possible way that you see fit. We'll see you tomorrow.